You know what? We definitely hit the bullseye when we aimed at this target, $550. This has been an incredible <laughs> unit. It's been one hails of a unit. Yeah, it has. If you've been keeping up with what the hails, you know we bought a doomsday prepper storage unit in Florida for $550. Check this out. We've already looked on this at the previous video. We've got a Glock case, a Glock case, a Smith & Wesson, we got ammo. We found more alcohol than, than we would know what to do with. <laughs> now here's the crazy part. Doomsday prepper, preps for doomsday. Doomsday happens, right? Pandemic, COVID, the whole deal. The prepper obviously wasn't prepared. He was gonna We've barter. got all the stuff. Well, he was gonna barter it. Who the hells knows what we're gonna find next. Look at this. That one is labeled prep. Prep. Was that prep? Barter. Uh -huh. What's that? AC radio. Do you think this is a preppers? Maybe. You know what? I bet you this is a doomsday prepper unit. Could very well be. All the medical stuff. That. Okay. Sleep. Is that a sleeping bag? That is a job. Oh. <laughs> oh. George. Oh, wow. George. Oh my, oh my, There's oh, all my the gun oh my, cleaner. There's, George, look at all these There's, back here. Oh Who knows my. what the hails are in those? George. <laughs> yeah. What a hails of a unit here in Florida. Back at it. Back in here. Now, we always tell you there's a story in every unit. Yes. Remember we found all the medical books and all of that in here too, George? See. Okay. I'm curious. Holy cow. Medical books Why? are heavy. Oh, sweet envelopes. I actually need these. Yeah. Now, see, here's the You've here's never the had to thing. pay for envelopes. I don't pay for envelopes. The I don't pay for unit stamps life, because the storage them. unit life mm -hmm. always, always provides. Thank you yet again, Storage Unit Life, for envelopes. <laughs> uh, we do have medical books, and some medical books could be worth. Did you know that quite I took bit. medical terminology right after high school? That makes sense if they were a doomsday prepper. And look at this. Here is another. Another tote Here's labeled prep. Here's another tote labeled prep. Okay, wait. Oh my goodness, there's another one. <laughs> there is, there's three. Say what? There's more. And who the hell knows what's going to be What's going to be in those toes? Here's an office. This oh is crazy. Okay, okay, let's see what's in it's here. It's getting crazy. This is, okay, let's get in here. Okay. This is labeled prep. Andy. Uh, come on. Come on, man, if those firearms are in here. Oh, <laughs> You're gonna lose your mind. Best, oh, I absolutely best unit ever if those are in here. Okay, this looks like a large rain jacket. Black to camouflage you in the woods if you're in a zombie apocalypse. Let's see what else we have. We've got Mountain House Delicious Meals lasagna with ah. meat sauce. We got a little bit Did of meat. you call that astronaut chicken. food? Um. I'm not sure, but I know the wife made the big beef stew last night. So now you have the farts. <gasps> the fart police Can are coming I not for you. Fart without <laughs> the popo coming, please. It wasn't that bad. Okay. Uh, chicken teriyaki with rice. Yum. A little more beef stew. Beef stroganoff with Yummy. noodles. Yummy. Okay, so we got a lot. Oh, granola. Do you want this with milk and blueberries? You want sure. That? Okay. We could so, try it. I'll try it if you try it. Okay. These are called dry boxes. Mm -hmm. So if you pop that open, they have a they have a rubber seal. Even if they get wet, you see that white seal there. So you can snack underwater. So yeah, exactly. How cool exactly. is that? If you want to be a fish, that is the way to go. If you're a fish, I'm a fish. This is pretty much all brand new cooking supplies. So we honestly, I mean, we're set to actually. 70 acres in Florida. Apocalypse coming. We're set. We're set. I mean, we <laughs> honestly, we're set. Look at this. 
Uh, well, there's a headlamp. Oh, they, but that ain't no you know O lamp. This o is light. not. This is not gonna save you in the apocalypse. You gotta have an O light for yeah. that. You That's gotta upgrade. Not help upgrade and get an O light. But in headlamp. case you need a tissue, there's three right there. I can right use there. some tissues. What about glow sticks? So glow sticks. There's some glow sticks for when we go caving. Okay, so let's get to that in a second here. Here are. Some bandanas. Face, face coverings, bandanas. Yeah. They did have a dog. You can uh -huh. tell that. Here, here is another machete, George. We found a previous machete. You think there's a machete in every prep tote? I bet you there is. There's you gotta be. I bet you there literally is. Wow. There's one in every prep tote. Because prep, you know, prepper's gonna prep. Prepper's gonna prep. Prepper's gonna prep. There's paracord right there. And we already know many of you viewers are going to reach out to us and go, I want to buy the whole prep box. I want to buy. Stay tuned to the Sunday night auctions. George may auction some of it off or we may just keep we it. We may just, keep it on the ranch. Just to have fun with it. Okay, so here is, that's usually matches. Usually preppers will put matches sounds, in here. Sounds empty. Okay. And, no, it's Q-tips. It's oh, actually Q-tips. Where do you hide your Q-tips? Um, not going to tell you. But <laughs> this, it wouldn't be hidden if I did. Do you know what that is? That's some type of um, this, sharpener. So this is called a flint and steel or a magnesium strip. It's not actually flint. Well, it's not actually steel. This is your flint here. What you do is you shave off the magnesium. Mm -hmm. Then you, you strike the flint. And uh, my kids, my kids at the age of four, knew how to build a fire without a match with a magnesium strip. So they still do. Um, that was a fairly important thing for them as far as growing up on a campground. First aid kit right there. That's, first aid kit. You know what? We might keep this one. We, we have need that. Well, we left all of our old first aid kits in our other, in our other trailers in Ohio. Yeah. So there's a little poop shovel right there. Look at that. I've never actually seen one like this before. That's kind of cool. So that's the shovel someone would use if they'd go dig a hole to use the rough That bathroom. or if you're hungry and you got a big appetite. This is what I'm going to use when we go out to eat after we're oh, done working gotcha. here. gotcha. Here's, this is a water bottle. You see that? So that will actually. Five gallons? Yep. You can get five gallons of fresh water in there. Here's a tarp. I mean, these people were set and ready to go except they're prepared well the another thing is radio. the crazy part is everything did happen another solar panel radio they everything did happen and they obviously weren't that prepared Ooh, okay there we go right there there's the knife a knife in here as well all right um we've got some butt wipes charmin freshness on the go Booty wipes. have i ever taught you how to use a compass orienteering you haven't, but I learned in school. You learned orienteering in school? Yes, sir. Here's fuel. There's fuel to cook right there. What is this? This is usually, the, the usually our water cleaning purifiers. Yeah, water water purifying tablets. Tablets. And then, oh yeah, you gotta have this. You know what this is, right? Yep. Paste inside. This is a toothbrush. Um, you can use that to clean the bottom of your shoes. Get all that lemur poop from Get underneath the lemur, your shoes. Lemur doo doo out. Okay. Yeah. You want to look at? Um, who, <laughs> do, can you guess? Give me a guess what you think is in the next. I think one every toach is going to keep getting better and better. Okay, so let's just let's go straight to it. Let's get the next one. Okay. All right. I'm gonna set that one aside. Let's just let's go through all three of them. Let's I mean, do it. Why the hell's not? This one, this one's a little heavier. Okay. Wait, look, they're labeled. So this was the prep box for mom. For mom. Interesting. So well, I wonder if everyone created Andy. their own prep, their own prep tote. Do you think so? Okay, well, let's find out what was important to mom. There's probably going to be some feminine products in there. <laughs> that would be my best guess. Female problems. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> this is mom's prep box. Brand new water bottle. A water bob. Okay, water bob. Never be without water right there. We've got another water carrier. We've got more meals. Noodles and more chicken, meals. chicken teriyaki. More meals. Now I'm getting hungry. More meals. Mama's we, getting hungry. We got work to do. There's some more granola. You can have the granola. I don't care if you want to here, take the granola. What's the expiration date on this? Look at, look at this. We're in Florida. Expiration date doesn't matter. 
We're in 2013. Florida. Does not matter. We're in Florida. Look what the map is in here. Michigan. Michigan. Okay. And Our neighboring state back in Ohio. Just in case there was when a you zombie, get on a line. Wham. Wham. <laughs> but you, you know what else going? she had? Mom did not mess around. She had her own machete. Mom didn't mess around at all. Uh -uh. Check that one out. Border Patrol right there. That's wow. a nice one. That is a really nice we have, one. We've got some great knives, knives and some great swords. Uh -huh. um, that one's kind of a nice one right there. It is. Okay. Should I do a machete lot or just keep it on the ranch? You're going to sell all my machetes? Really? Maybe. Maybe. Really? Maybe. Already? Okay. We've got more fuel. More fuel. Bungee cords. Now, this an is an emergency blanket. blanket. Okay, so one time when when I was training all my staff. This they would one time to, in Christian camp? Yes, this one time at Christian uh, camp, I was training all of my staff how to survive in the woods. And the only thing I had was an emergency blanket. This is basically a piece of tin foil. <laughs> Think of it like that. And I had to survive in this thing. And they were like, you jerk, you kept us up all night. Every time you moved. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You got to fart in those just to stay warm. So, George, there is another oh, machete. Oh, wow. There is another one. That's wow, number wow, three. Wow, wow, wee Is that, is that number a, three? another solar radio? Okay. Another solar radio. Oh my goodness, we paid $550. What's that? What is that Those right are going to be binoculars. $550 for oh, this you're unit. Right. We have more than that just in alcohol. We have more than that in just in the prepping. I mean, we could sell we could sell totes as is for I mean, we got four totes, right? Yeah. So let's just say we sell per tote 200 bucks on average. We're going to do some doomsday lot. You know, doomsday lot, <laughs> you get the tote $200. Uh, we would be at eight hundred dollars, three hundred dollar profit already. Nice. <gasps> Good thing we're prepped. The lights. Good thing we're prepped. The lights right. went off. Oh. <laughs> Not a good idea. Next time, Not don't burn doomsday, straight up. <laughs> Not with the doomsday prepping box. All right, here we got some. I'm pretty lighters. sure I got that on film. That you There's just nailed lighters. yourself in the face. Do you know what this is here? A lot of people may that not know what this is. is. This is dental floss. This is the Doom Days Prepper's dental floss. For real? No, it's actually a saw. <gasps> Who's there? We going in? We going in and hiding? <laughs> this is a, a cable saw. So if you need to take a branch down, you do it with friction back and forth, back ah. and forth. And by the way, I am not a doomsday prepper, nothing like that whatsoever. I am very confident of where I'm going to go in the end. And uh, so... Uh, my, you could be on Man vs. Wild. I would love to be on Man vs. Wild. Be good. All, those who truly know me, those who truly, truly know me, have always said, Jeremy, you have to get on Survivor. You will win. Or you have to be on the Survivor uh, survival um, TV program. TV show, yeah. Uh, am I boring you, George? Looking, Looking back at what am you know you? with the YouTube life versus going on TV, would you do it? Uh, no, I'd rather do YouTube. You'd rather YouTube? Okay. Rather do YouTube. Well, I would, I would, I do want to, I would like one time in my life to win Survivor, not play. So that's the I'm only exception play, you would play. make. I want to win for a, Survivor. For an episode. And I think there's potential, if I take enough knives, knives, I probably could. Okay. Uh, we'll just make the knives. So this is a whole nother tote. Doomsday preparation. This one is mom's. Interesting enough. They all have similar items. All we like have, that. all we have is deodorant. deodorant. Interesting enough, we did not find feminine products no. for mom. Uh -uh. Apparently, feminine hygiene in the doomsday means nothing. It's irrelevant. We got one more back there. You want to? Let's dig into it. Let's yes, see what please. we have. Let's see what we have. I'm gonna grab it. All right. Now, one more that we can see labeled. That doesn't mean there's not. Yeah, a lot oh, of times things here. are mislabeled, but um, uh, at the rate that we're going... What's this say? Med and dry? Dry. Okay, this must be the medical unit. Oh my. More Look first aid this. kits? Uh, we've got more first aid than we're ever going to know what to do with. There's a tarp. Look at this. This is another dry box. Oh, we have Altoids. How's my breath? Let me smell. 
I just saw your hangy ball. Oh, I'm not going to get any from nah. in there. Okay, but at least my lips won't be chapped. Oh. Okay, so we're good there. You smell the medicalness from this? Mm -hmm. You smell medical? Yeah, I it's got that medicalness smell. It has smell. that medical smell to it. Mm -hmm. There's some tubular stuff there. This is kind of like um, uh, some sacks or this could be... This could be like a medical unit, like an apron or what do you call that the nurses wear? The scrubs. Scrubber scrubs. scrubs. That's what it is. It's amazing once the once the light goes on on the camera, you can't see it. It's anymore. blinding, isn't it? Well, that is part of the problem. Your mind goes blank because you're blind. But you know what? There's, There's some tweezers, skizzers, pens. There are there are those you there are those YouTube viewers out there that think everything should be perfect, and we're still waiting for them to put a we're... video out. <laughs> and yet, nothing. Nothing scripted on this channel. Batteries, batteries upon batteries. Here's another more there. Another rescue blanket. Uh, another dry box. Look at that. Oh my goodness, did we ever score a prepper's unit? We've got, there's another knife down there. There's a whistle. Help. I'm surprised the sirens didn't go off. Help. Okay. Um, I'm kind of surprised myself if they didn't go off. So there is this here. I got to say that uh, this location, oh, you know what this is for, right? You throw up in there. No, you go doo-doo in there. That's for the, that's the poop chute. You can you can throw up in it. Okay. You can pee you in want, it. You I mean, I guess it's multi-use. You know You're George of what the hails. You can do whatever you want. You can get away, <laughs> say anything you want. Those are Emesis bags. When I would throw up all the time, or my sister would throw up, they'd give her. What was your sister bags throwing that up like for? That. She had a uh, gallbladder attack. What's that for? And it was making her puke. Well, sh I don't know what these are for. These ones, I don't know. I'm not sure on that. Uh, he, remember the box for the stethoscope that we found yep. the first when we first got is in there? Is that it? There it is. This is it. Whoop, there it is. So they were buying all brand new stuff. All brand new stuff. Oh, man. There is... A um, ton of padding, a bunch of ace Listex, bandages. Lens cleaner spray. More. This has got to be more first aid, right? Or do you think this is a diabetic It could case? be. Diabetic. Yeah, you're right. Yep, diabetic. Test your blood sugar. Yep, so somebody in the family might have been a diabetic or they were prepped if somebody was going to become a diabetic More pads. during the actual apocalypse. You know what? I think we have our first aid kit for the trailer, <laughs> don't you think? I mean, yeah, for both really, trailers. Really, we can just take it back and forth. And... Um, Unless a magician saws one of us in half, I think we're good for any cuts, scrapes, bumps, and bruises. Even if we take one of the chainsaws and, and we lose a limb, I think we have the gauze for it. <laughs> Who we needs a hospital when you have, have all this? the gauze for it. <laughs> Who the hails would have ever thought this was what we were going to find? What's next, boss? I am just so curious to see what's in all of this stuff. That so, one's labeled blankets. Is it actually labeled? Yeah. Look at that. It looks like a tiger, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, Is but... That Carol Baskin's blanket? It might be her husband in here. Okay, so that... I'm just going to toss this. Okay. I don't think... I really want to find... I mean, you know what I want to find. What do I want to find? I mean, those guns could be wrapped up in the blanket. Well, you know, they're also... There's a couple guns right here. One right there. <laughs> there's one right there. So... Free admission to the gun show. Okay, what do we... We might have some vintage tees in here. So we've got, we definitely have some t-shirts. I'm just curious what size they were wearing. The mom. The mom. Okay. Was she a joker? The mom. We've got, if we have some vintage tees. Cheer for the cure. Hmm. Diane. You know anybody named Diane? Mm-mm. Okay. Princess Diane. All right, so this is clothing. This, we, we typically donate all of this. Yeah. So since We'll go clothing, through and look to see if there's any. Just going to toss that out there. T-shirts worth keeping, but most of it gets donated. All right. Oh, we might have more prepping here. I see cotton balls. Okay, I see the gold standard. Hmm. What? For adults? 
the gold standard for adults. What, what is it? It's uh, fairy own. dust. Moving along. What is it? <gasps> oh, we just... Wait, wait, George, I got it. I got it. You ready? Yes. No, still no lights. Okay. Uh, we have no lights. We do have... Throw the stuffed animal out in the hallway. All right, see if that works. Yeah. <laughs> no, it we didn't We still work. have no lights. Okay, we've got... Kids fire. All right, let's see what's in here. I think... Oh, you know what this is? Hmm. This is... This is their beautification kit, and there's usually, usually, some jewelry in there, but not this time. All right, let's move this, and let's find something else. Let's see if we can keep the lights on. It looks like we've got some paperwork in there, and nice little Another sewing tackle. kit. I, well, yeah, it is a tackle box, but it's is this a, supplies. this is a craft Sorry. kit or would this be for doomsday prep as well? Maybe a little bit of both. Could be both. Now, the one thing that George and I did finally realize, and again, we don't show you everything. There's no way we possibly ever could. Uh, this is a female and a, a female owned this unit. And she's the doomsday prepper, which typically we see guys doomsday prepping, but she's the doomsday prepper and she's prepping for her family. Mm -hmm. um, let's move that and see. Oh, you know what that is. First class mess, the USS Truxel Imperial. I don't know what it is, but it's there. It's there. And it does say first class mess. Look at this, George. Ooh. Oh, I think a lot broke down here. I can see something gold. Oh, no, that's popcorn. Okay. Okay. We Look can at definitely that. use Look at that. Oil. I don't even need an emergency medical blanket anymore. All I have you right here. I'm just taking right the Reynolds there. wrap out in the woods with me. <laughs> I will survive. I will survive. Yeah, I will survive. No doubt about that. And... We got some, here's some carnival glass down there. Are you seeing that? Yeah, it's pretty. Okay. Dog bone carnival glass. Uh, I don't want to dig too far into that. There's a Samsung remote. I did see that, and we're probably gonna find. Probably gonna find what it goes to, but it probably does not go to that. What was that? Okay, that was for a laptop. Mm -hmm. But look at this, George. Look, 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 look. What, what, I what, think, what, what? I think we are definitely on the right track to find a few things. Right here. Oh, Bam. there's some targets. Not some targets. There's about a couple hundred targets right there. Targets for days. Targets. Man, you know what? We definitely hit the bullseye when we aimed at this target, $550. This has been an incredible <laughs> unit. It's been one hails of a unit. Yeah, it has. Sprite, anyone? 